right quick. Okay, we're recording. Okay, guys, welcome to the 90 day run uh, information Zoom. We're going to tell you how it's all going to happen and roll out. I'm so excited. Uh, those of you who are not in the mafia, um, just know that I'm kind of crazy and my, I'm always, you know, in the zone. So uh, join me in the zone, will you? Will you join me in the zone? And uh, we're going to kill this 90 day run. I can tell you that um, it's completely breaks my heart that I've had a, a handful of people reach out to me and want to be a part of this and had to tell them no. Uh, so I want you to covet your spot in this run because others are dying to be a part of this. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I am recording this. Um, it is Thursday, December 28th. And um, I'm going to turn this over to Lisa Corcoran, who is going to uh, take the, the first leg of this. And then I'll kind of take uh, the back end of it. And then at the end, we can stop recording. And if you want to stay on and you have questions, we're happy to answer them. How about that? So with that being said, Lisa Coco Corcoran, take it away. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Um, I can't even begin to tell you all right now how excited I am. I know, I feel like those of you that are a part of um, my crew who, for the sake of the run, we're calling them the Philly Mob, they are probably like, for the love of God, we are sick of hearing Lisa Corcoran talking about this 90-day run. What even does that mean? So here it is, you guys. So I want to start out first off just by saying welcome and saying thank you so much for being here. Dina and I have a vision, okay? And that, I think, is what started this a couple months back. Um, I want to just share a little story with you all and then kind of walk you through what this is going to look like. I met Dina Peacock a year ago today. We were in Salt Lake City, Utah, checking out Modair. Um, it's funny that we're doing this run today. This kind of is like, I don't know, symbolic for me a little bit because I was one of those original terrorists that left our prior company um, to come and to be a part of Modair. And when I first met Dina, I can tell you guys, I don't know what it was. It was love at first sight. And it just was. We just, we just became immediate friends. And couldn't be more different, but yet have so much in common for the love that we have for this company, the love that we have for our teams, the way that we want to build this business. So I just wanted to start out by sharing that with you. So I'm really, really excited to get to kick this off with all of you tonight, um, a year later from when, you know, we really kind of made this decision that we were making a huge, huge jump and taking a leap of faith and joining this company. So thank you all for being a part a year later and for deciding to take a leap and a jump and participate in what I really think could probably be um, three months of the most epic months of your life as far as changing your business. So thank you. Welcome. Um, to me, this to me is kind of like New Year's Eve. That's, I've been all night, I've been like, okay, we're waiting for the ball to drop. And I can't even say Dick Clark because poor guy's dead. Okay. Like, so now it's like Ryan Seacrest and the ball dropping, but like, to, I'm more excited right now than I think I've been since we've gotten started. So I want to run through the vision that Dina and I had a couple months ago. Like, like I said, we met, we became friends. We watched each other build and, and we are sidelined to one another. So we are not financially tied at all to each other in this business, as many of you know. And I just admire her and I admire what she does. And I traveled to Memphis last summer to be a part of their um, summer event and got to know many of the people that are part of the Memphis Mafia. And I just, my heart, I left there and I said, I've been in this industry for over 12 years. That was one of my favorite events I think I've ever been a part of. And just seeing the heart and being with that group, it just felt like home to me. And I wanted to just let all of you guys know that I really mean that. I truly mean that. And I know that I want to bring that kind of culture and that kind of heart to our organization. And I just think that we just have worked well together. And we have a lot of the same strengths, but a lot of different ones. And I think that together, 
pulling these two amazing organizations together, we're just really going to get a chance to get the best of both worlds. So that was the vision. The vision also is at the end of this 90 days, rank up galore. Okay. Like people winning and people making money and people being proud of themselves and people ranking up and for our uplines and downlines and sidelines and across lines and different companies. And I don't care where they come from, come to us and say, what the heck did you feed these people for 90 days? What did you do? And I believe that there is something really powerful in groups with the same vision and the same beliefs and, you know, the same goals. And I just think that together we're going to do something really, really cool here. So I hope you guys are ready. I'm more than ready. So let me walk you through what our 90 day run is going to look like. And then I'm going to turn it back over to Dina afterwards. Um, and Dina's going to share some more thoughts. So, okay. What we're going to do every week, starting with the very first week, which is next week, we are going to have a weekly MVP. Okay. We have two organizations here. We've got my, my team and we've got Dina's team. We are going to choose an MVP every week, one from each organization. Okay. How are we going to choose that MVP? We are going to choose that person really kind of based on the growth that occurred within their organization over that week. Um, who recruited the most people? Who brought in the most customers? Who had the most pod growth? One of those kinds of things is going to be what's going to determine our MVP for that particular week. Okay. So I want you guys to write that down. We want each of you to try to earn that MVP spot. That MVP spot is gonna have a lot of value. So like I said, one from each organization each week. You may only be MVP one time, so there's gonna be 26 MVPs over the course of the next 90 days. Okay, so here is what that MVP gets to do. That MVP gets to do work. They get a big responsibility, but also what I like to call a huge honor and the two MVPs are going to leave the Zoom the following week, okay? So let's just say this week I'm MVP, Dina's MVP, all right? Dina, we're MVPs this week. So we're gonna leave the Zoom together. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of pair up together with that person. You're gonna get a chance to connect with somebody new, make a new friend. Um, each person, each MVP from each organization is gonna take about 20 minutes and you are gonna to get to choose a topic that you want to share, educate, train, whatever you wanna do on that next week's Zoom, okay? What are you strong at? What led you to earn your place as MVP? What are you passionate about in this business? What has served you well? Whatever that might be, you're gonna to get to choose your topic and you're gonna to get to share the next 20 minutes. So that's gonna be 20 minutes per person. Okay, so each side. Um, if you want to bring on speakers, you can do that too. You get to do whatever you want to do in that 20 minutes. If you want to sing opera, have at it. That's what you guys get to do in your 20 minutes as the MVP. You can sing opera. Um, if you are new, if you're new to this business, if you've just joined us, if you've never done a Zoom, if you've never led a Zoom, if you've never done um, spoke in front of people. If you're not comfortable with that, we are asking that you go to your immediate upline director and ask them to help you. Okay. So if you're somebody that's new and you earn that MVP spot, first off, congrats to you because that's amazing. Um, but if you don't know how or want to do this all by yourself, we're going to ask that you go right to your um, upline director and your upline director will help you. We promise you that. And Dina and I will help you too, if you need our help as well. All right. So what we're going to call each Zoom that each one of the uh, MVPs get to lead, we're going to call it TCB tips. Okay. What that means. Okay. So we've got the Memphis mafia. We've got the Philly mob. We know not everybody's from Memphis. Not everybody's from Philly. We're just talking about where we originated from and just, you know, keep it fun. 
So what we're going to do together, we are calling ourselves Team TCB. Okay. Team TCB stands for taking care of business because that is what we're going to do in the next 90 days. And I know that, I know that, um, Dina had a lot of our upline elites go live in her team page. And then my dumb self tried to share them in our team page and they didn't come through because they're not part of that group. But anyway, you guys, Patty McCracken was one of the um, one of our lead up lines that went live and he was wearing a shirt today that said taking care of business. So I thought that was really cool and really appropriate. And I'll at least give my team a screenshot since they didn't get to see the live. So weekly TCB tips. That's what we're going to be calling each one of those live, each one of those um, speakers on the Zoom. So they're going to be taking care of business, giving their tips. Okay. At the end of the run, we are going to end our run with a retreat. For those of you that know what that means, you have been on a retreat before, you know that it is um, an incredible experience where not only do we get to meet virtually like we are right now, but we're actually going to come together and spend a few days together celebrating our achievements, celebrating our successes, celebrating our failures, our progress, celebrating it all, and really just spending a few days together, kind of building relationships with one another. Um, here is what you need to do to earn a spot at that retreat. Get out your pens, everybody. So to earn a spot at the retreat, each M you have to be one of those MVPs each week. Okay, so we really want to help you guys want to be the MVP for the following week. <clears throat> you have to earn an MVP spot and you have to rank up on one side of the comp plan. We don't care whether you are brand new and you don't even have a customer yet, okay? You are brand new. If you go bronze, that's a rank up and that's an amazing rank up. If you go senior consultant, that's a rank up. If you go elite three, platinum three, that's a rank up. So you have to go MVP one of the weeks and you have to rank advance on either side of the comp plan. Wherever you stand today is your starting point and we want you to rank advance. In addition to that rank advancement and being MVP, we're asking that you hold your new rank, okay? So if you rank advance to say silver, we're gonna ask that you remain silver or higher through the rest of the run to earn your spot. The retreat details, we don't have all of those yet. There's a couple things that we need to have figured out first. And one of them is when our next conference is going to be to be able to determine when we're gonna be able to have our retreat, okay? So if you wouldn't mind bearing with us through um, the next few weeks when we get back from conference, by then we will know when the following conference is so we can plan our retreat accordingly. So the retreat details will follow. So again, I wanna just kind of recap what that retreat is gonna look like. You have to earn an MVP spot, you have to rank advance, on one side of the comp plan or both, and you have to hold that new rank, okay? Retreat details will follow. The last thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna have monthly recognition Zooms, and we are gonna have a speaker, a special speaker on each one to recognize each of you. You're gonna be recognized by th for things such as completing your tracker, which Dina's gonna talk a little bit more in detail about. Um, recognizing how many new starts you've had, recognizing how many lives you've done, um, recognizing rank ups, recognizing promoter rank ups. And Dina, Dina, am I allowed to tell them who is going to be doing the first recognition Zoom? I can't hear you, you're muted. Just give me a shake. Anybody wanna guess? Yeah, let's let them guess. Go to chat and put it in here you think it is. Who do we got? Well, I gotta find the chat. Where's the chat? JP. JP. 
Patty or Justin. I see Patty. Patty yes. I see people JP. I see people chanting JP. I see Patty. Who else? JP. Doug. <laughs> JP. Doug Burdick. <laughs> yeah. Who else, guys? What else do you got? I don't know. It's looking like we got Patty, Justin, Justin, Patty, Justin, Doug, JP, Nadia. Who's not? Oh, Nadia. Okay. John or Nadia? Patty. Don Creek. Oh, you guys are funny. All right. All right. The Zaleckis. What, what, did they just, what did I just hear? The Zaleckis. Let's Zalecki. see. Uh -huh. I got another Doug. I don't know. I was kind of voting for um, Bruno Mars, but it doesn't sound like you guys are that into him. Um, all right. Well, I'm happy to say we got Justin Prince, who is going to do our first month of recognition. Um, I'm still working on Bruno Mars. I called him. I mean, he didn't call me back yet, but I'm sure he probably will. But don't worry. I'll get Bruno Mars on, this, on our Zoom at some point. So, well, um, what is that? Okay. What is that? Elvis. Somebody's clock is ticking. Okay. So, so guys, we're going to have Justin Prince join us at the end of our first month to do the recognition for all of the um, improvements and rank advancements and all that kind of cool stuff, which I want you to know. I want you guys to know this is a big deal. Pam rocks. Bruno, she's with me. I love it. Um, I want you guys to know that, you know, this is a really, really big deal. And Dina's going to share a little bit more about the 90 day run that her team just finished with Justin Prince and how much it really impacted their growth. I mean, many of you know, there were several, several really big rank ups in the month of November in her team. And this was coming off of a 90 day run. So I am, that is basically the information that I wanted to share with you guys is the layout of the run. So that's our layout. Um, at the end, we are going to have what we call a hall of famer. And the hall of famer is really going to be just that person that just really kind of worked this hard the whole time and stood out and made progress and just really kind of, I guess the best way to say it is just stood out and just did the work. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for, you know, somebody that's going to really do the work. And at the end, guys, our hope is that there are going to be 26 retreat spots available to take you guys somewhere super cool to celebrate our accomplishments over the past 90 days. So I hope that the run layout makes sense to you. Um, I want to talk really quickly before I pass it over to Dina. I want to talk a little bit about housekeeping. Um, as you all know, we started a chat on Facebook. Okay. We didn't do a group. We did a chat because it's really easy to communicate and know that everyone is going to see it. I am going to ask kindly that everybody keeps their chat comments very relevant to our run. Okay. There are a lot of us here, you all. There are a lot of people that are participating in this run. And if everybody chimes in with just one comment a day, that's going to be over 200 chats in a day. What's that going to make your phone look like? Okay. So I want you guys to be mindful of that. I'm not saying don't chat. Please chat with important, relevant information that is pertaining to the chat. For those of you that work full time or don't want to hear your phone blowing up all day long because of the chat, we're going to just ask that you just turn your notifications off for that yeah. chat. And that way you can go to it and read through it when you want to. So it doesn't kind of get on your nerves all day long because that's going to make somebody not happy and we don't want that. So um, we're going to ask that wherever you all currently go, to ask your team questions and, you know, compensation questions and is this product still available? Things like that. We want you to continue to take those questions to the places where you currently go. We don't want the chat for the run to become the catch-all for all that. We want chat conversation pertaining to chat only. 
So I'm just asking that you're mindful of that because we just want you to remember there are a lot of people and a lot of chat and a lot of chatter means that some of the important stuff might get lost. So just keep that in mind. Um, we are asking that you guys really just stick it out, okay? Do what's on the tracker. Do what we're here to do. And like Dina said, covet that spot because there are people that wanted to be on this call tonight and that wanted to be a part of this Zoom that we unfortunately had to say no because we really wanted to keep it high and tight and within our teams and we wanted to keep it with all of you. So we really want you to really take value in this and invest in what we're trying to do because this run can be amazing if you guys do the, do the things and this run can be a big waste of your time if you don't do the things. And I know that, you know, we're all here because we take our business serious and we want to grow. So I'm ready to do it. So that is the layout. I hope you guys all understand it. If you don't hang on at the end and we can ask some questions, I am going to turn it over to the one and only Godfather. And that is Dina P. Godfather. <laughs> hey, 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 hey now. Uh, so the only thing I don't know that maybe they don't understand is we're going to have a hall of famer every month during recognition so you have there'll be three hall of famers uh at the oh, end of I, didn't even, I didn't even know that <laughs> uh yeah so we're going to have one every month so just wanted to touch base so hi everybody welcome again we are so freaking excited about this freaking run i'm telling you freaking's coming out constantly here in memphis because that's what's the way it's rolling so in the thread we i put the tracker did everybody get to print that off um nod yes thumbs up anybody um so you're going to want to print this off you want to print three of them off um you can it's in the thread um i'll repost it in there again if you go to the thread and look at the pictures underneath it's there too but you want to save it and email it to yourself and then print it off and you want to print off three of them because there's one for each month so uh one for each month and you want to fold this thing up and you want to keep it in your planner or whatever you use your calendar whatever you use to promote your business so uh, like Lisa said we did just come off of a 90-day run with Justin and a lot of those things that we did there we're going to be applying here and you guys are going to be very very blessed um, uh, we did have a lot of promotions and I want to say it's because uh, the 90-day run contributed a big part to that so who here wants to rank advance uh, from this 90-day run and you will and you can um, and that's what's going to happen and that's what we're doing and so just to be clear on why we wanted to keep this just these two organizations is because we're looking for you we want you to stretch you we want to focus on you we want to find talent that we didn't even know we had and the way we do that is by keeping it just these two organizations so the outcome of this is to find talent and talented people and to promote them and to stretch you and to grow you as a social marketer and as a leader so that is going to be the outcome of this run hands down no doubt no other option no plan b so you want to print this off and at the bottom of this tracker it has daily action items <clears throat> new conversations new facebook friends add you added atm'd followed up with leads and posted in daily chat. So for me, I put two of each one of those things every day. So if you want to do one or if you want to do five, you get to choose what you want to track daily. Does every nod your head if everybody's understanding where I'm at. So one of the things that we learned from the run with Justin Prince is that you have you have got to expand your network marketing audience. So how do we do that? Well, you know, if you go on Facebook, there's a little thing there that says suggested friends. So you want, for me, I try to add two new Facebook friends a day. Um, do I always get two? No. But one day I might get five, but I try, my goal is two new Facebook friends a day, Monday through Friday. And so, and if you go to your suggested friends, and you send them a friend request, you could just send them something really nice and really funny that says, hey, Facebook thinks we should be friends. 
you know, don't be weird, anything like that. And you uh, send them a friend request. And then when they, when they accept it, you just say, Hey, thanks. I'm just expanding my, uh, my network of friends. Um, so uh, you're going to expand your Facebook because how many of you out there are posting daily and you feel like you're just not getting the things that you want from that? Well, they're watching number one, but number two, we've got to start expanding your audience. So that is one thing you're going to learn how to do on this run is expand your audience. And that can be on Instagram, that can be on Facebook, Twitter, all the net, all of them. You want to start expanding yourself and growing yourself. Um, new conversations, you want to start two, for me, I want to start two new conversations a day. Um, I want to ATM two people a day, Monday through Friday. I want to follow up with two leads a day and I want to post in on Facebook um, you know, uh, twice a day or whatever, in, or, or once on Facebook and then once in a thread, whatever you want. This is how you start to begin to track yourself. And then you just go up here at the top and it says one through five for that date. And you just put two, one, two, two, one, you know, and you track what you did that day. Um, and this is how you do it. And I can tell you that this is my tracker for the run uh, that we did with Justin. And I can show you, um, I kept this thing with me all the time. And if you look, I made notes at the bottom. Y'all see that? And it says business M3 bio cell. And so every day when I pull out my tracker and look at it, I'd be like, Oh, I forgot. I need to follow up with that person because how many times do we get a prospect or we start a conversation and we forget and we don't follow up. I, if you, if you look at this column right here that says business, there are five, four names of those. You see those check marks? Those are people that I actually brought into the business. So these check marks, so this, I made notes at the bottom. So this tracker can really, really boost your business. So is everybody clear with the tracker and you're going to set your goals at the bottom and, and how to do that? Everybody nod. If everybody pretty good. Uh, maybe you've never done a tracker before. I can tell you I've done several. I've never kept up with one like I have this one ever. So this is a heck of a tracker. It was designed by Justin Prince. And so this is what he uses on his 90 day runs. And I can tell you that it's very effective, very, very, very effective. And it's also something that's very easily done daily. So Tina, can I add something quick? Yeah. Okay. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I apologize. You're good. So for those of you who have never done a run before, and for those of you who maybe are fairly new, or for those of you that, you know, might have a pretty lofty goal, there are some of you that, you know, I know want to take this run and end this run at a leap. And if you are not sure what your particular goal should look like, I mean, well, I'm sorry, not what your goal should look like. Let's say you want, you have a goal. Your goal is you want to go director two, okay? And you're currently a team leader. You might not know, well, hmm, how many people per day should I say I want to reach out to? Let us help you with that, okay? Because if you have a lofty goal and you want to go from team leader to director two, reaching out to one person a day isn't going to do it. But we also don't want you to say, okay, I'm going to do 20 a day when you and I all know that that's going to be really difficult. So go to your upline, let your upline help you with where that number should be for you. Okay. Because we want to make sure that you're setting goals that are realistic, that are attainable, that are measurable and something that we can really help you have success with at the end. So if you're not sure what that daily activity should look like, let us know. We'll help you. Dina, I'm done. You're back up. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Um, so uh, does that make sense? Everybody understand uh, the tracker. And one of the things for recognition that, um, that we're going to do, and, and guys, I've never done a Zoom recognition before. And I can tell you it's extremely effective and it is highly, highly, uh, you know, just very, very, it's just amazing. And so you're going to be recognized if you complete your tracker. So that's, that's easy. I mean, um, you want to do that. You want to definitely can, um, complete your tracker every day. Guys, I'm just telling you, it, it works. It flat out, straight up works. Okay, so um, 
we talked about the promotions that happened and I promise you if you if you just came off a 90 day run you're it's ready to stretch to go to the next one if you've never done a 90 day run it's going to um, definitely get you much closer to where you want to go with this business um, it's no secret that every single successful person in this industry has done 90 day run after 90 day run after 90 day run so this is a vital part of what we do and I'm just super happy that you guys have have chosen to be a part of this with us so um, the uh, the whole purpose again is to really dig down and stretch and grow you uh, we are really looking to promote you we want you to have the spotlight we want you to do that and I and when you if you're MVP and um, you t you win an MVP uh, position I have some a huge tip for you everybody lean in lean in because you don't want to miss this one is everybody leaning in you want to go MVP and then you want to get your team to MVP everybody get that do you know what you're doing? Do you know what you're doing when you do that and then you get your team to the MVP status? Hello, you are totally taking your taking everything up just a huge notch. You're moving that ball down the field big time. Uh, so that's a big, big tip. Get MVP and then get your team to MVP. Um, okay, so these are just a few little nuggets to tell you guys and to really just kind of hopefully inspire you and, and to tell you that things are things are going to get in the way. Life is going to get in the way. There's going to be there's going to come a time when you're like, well, I've been sick, and you know, whatever. Life is going to hit you, and if you, you're you're going to have to get back up, you're going to have to get back up. So I have a couple of things. So I, I got to hold. Of, first of all, you guys are going to want to write down. Make, write this down. You want to write down what your monthly goals are, and you want to write down what your goals are at the end of this 90-day run. Has everybody here written down or know what that is to write down your goals? So, for in other words, for the month, you want to write. So, I got this out, and I have two pages right here of my goals, and they're goals that I want for 2018. I mean, every super successful person takes a day to write out their goals for the next year at the end of the year. So I want you to write down where you want to be. What's your goal to reach by the end of, Ju of January? And what is the goal you want to accomplish by the end of this run? And I want you to be serious about it. And I want you to, to, to really just kind of set that target out there because that is what we're aiming for. Um, so... That's, your, that's the other part of your homework. I'm super happy that a lot of you have done the homework that we assigned, and that was to watch the two movies, uh, Moneyball and The Pursuit of Happiness. And I know uh, that the feedback has just been amazing in the thread of you guys who've watched it. You still have plenty of time. Um, the goal is to just have it watched by the first of the year. So um, if you haven't, definitely do that. Uh, I, a lot of us have seen the movie before, but when you go and look at it with a 90 day run perspective, you're going to see it completely different and it's going to inspire you. I promise um, you the goal for us in this 90 day run is for you to have a full funnel. Does everybody know what it means to have a full funnel? That means that you're in business. If your funnel is dry, it, it's easy to go out of business. So you want to have a funnel full of prospects and cut potential customers and, and um, people on your team that want to work. And I'm also going to tell you, it's a really good idea to have a workout partner. So if you see someone in this run that you would like to lock arms with and have as an accountability partner for this run, I'm going to highly recommend it. A workout partner is amazing. And on that day when you're just like, I need a pass today because life just came at me and I didn't have time to do any of this, you have a partner there that's going to say, no, we committed to this. I will sit here on the phone with you. Let's get these things done. Let's get the tracker out. Let's get these things completed today. Um, and just have someone truly hold you accountable. It is a very valuable tool. Um, <coughs> and we want to fill your funnel. So anybody here want to make $250,000 a year? Anybody? Anybody? Well, there's a price that has to be paid. Me, me, me. Oh, okay, me. okay. Um, there's a price that has to be paid to make $250,000 a year. 
So does everybody understand what I'm saying when I say that? There, it just is not going to just happen. It has to be a mindset that nothing is going to knock you off your game for this 90 days. Nothing. There's nothing that can come at you that you're going to say, I can't do this. You don't get a pass. You're, if, you're, if you too truly want this and you're telling me all you raised your hands just now for $250,000 a year, then that means you're going to have to do something that we figured out here at the Memphis Mafia a long time ago. And it's a phrase called work tired. So if you're working a full-time job and you get home and you've got to cook dinner and you've got laundry and you've got all that, I totally get it. But if you want out of that situation, it's going to take working tired. But it can be done. Nail. And we can help you. Oh, um, we, um, Lord, um, we definitely are going to help you do that. So um, does everybody understand when I, where I'm coming from when I say you've got to work tired and you're going to have, and it's going to require paying a price if that's what you want to do. So um, I want that to be your mindset. I just want that to be the, the mindset that you have that it's just nothing is going to knock me off my game. Nothing. Uh, we had a retreat back in July, uh, August. Uh, a lot of you, some of you on this call were there and I can tell you that um, I, I went into that retreat and I knew that I was all in. I mean, I, I'm, I'm all in. You guys know that. I mean, I am, I'm here. I'm ready to do this thing. And I went to that retreat and we had something at the end of it called a fire ceremony. And that was what's holding you back? What's, what's holding you back? And we wrote it on a piece of paper and we were going to throw it in the fire and we're going to leave it there. In other words, whatever it is holding you back, we're going to leave at that retreat. And I wrote down the same old bullcrap stuff, you know, same old stuff. And I got up there and it was at that point that I wadded up my piece of paper and I threw it in the fire and I said, I'm not all, I'm not all in. I thought I was, but I'm not. And because there was a plenty of time that I could have been doing something when I wasn't doing it. And to me, that means I was not all in. And so I left that retreat with something deep down inside of me that caught fire. And I applied that 90 day run and, you know, and I would say it's, pay, it paid off and it's paid off in a, in a big way uh, with several people on, in this organization. We, it's, it just ignited something. And then when we started the 90 day run with Justin Prince, he said something that solidified this fire within me that is just burning hot. Even right now it is burning hot. And what he said was, he said, what are you saving it for? And when are you going to turn it on? And it was at that point after the retreat that I said, Oh, heck yeah, this is about to go down. And that's where I'm at. That's where I can tell you a lot of these people in this organization are at. We are focused and determined. And I hope that you all get that same exact feeling because this 90 day run is going to stretch you. It is, you're going to grow and you're going to find out things about yourself that you had no idea. And let me just give you another tip. If you don't get uncomfortable, then you're not growing. Comfortable means you're, that you're coasting. Does everybody know that? Do you all know that comfortable means coasting? If you're not uncomfortable, you're not growing. And so I want you to prepare and get ready to be uncomfortable. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing to be uncomfortable. So I want you to really uh, marinate on what, what I told you, what Justin Prince said, which was, what are you saving it for? So I'm going to ask you, what are you saving it for? You know, you know what you're supposed to be doing. You know that I knew it. And, but there, but for some reason we hold back and just think about where you can go. If you don't hold back guys, we have three new products coming. We have makeup coming. We have so many amazing things coming that this thing is about to bust wide open. My husband during the Christmas holidays found this thing and I, I wish he didn't send a picture of it to me, but he found a, um, something that he did some research on and it had the top 20 up and coming network marketing companies and Modair was number six. Now when you're out and about, how many people do you know have ever heard of Modair? None. 
very, very few. So do you guys get when they say of the up and coming network marketing companies and Modair's number six and no one's heard of it, do you understand what you're sitting on? Anybody understand what you're sitting on? And it's called a gold mine. So guys, it's time to get serious. It's time to grit and grind. It is time to back your ears. I know a lot of you who in my, in my team and organization have heard me say several times that, you know, like a horse, when a horse backs their ears, uh, they're about to do whatever it is they're about to do. Kick you, <laughs> kick somebody else, run through a fence, it doesn't matter. So I want you to back your ears and I want you to say nothing, nothing is going to knock me off my game for this 90 days. I'm committed and I'm going to do this. And at the end of 90 days, we are going to celebrate something in you that you never knew you had. We're going to find it and we're going to promote it and we're going to grow it and we're going to throw jet fuel on it. And if you guys will just stay with us and do the dang thing and jump in with this fire and, and you know, ignite with us, I'm telling you, like Lisa said, people are going to say, what the heck are they doing? Because we're, you're going to be on the map. And I guarantee you, I, my prediction is six superstars will be born from this 90 day run. And when I say superstar, I mean superstar. So that's all I have. Um, as you can tell, I'm, I'm, ah, I'm ready to just, just knock it out of the park, uh, aim for the fence and give it all I've got. So if you're excited, raise your hand and, um, we're pumped and ready. So I'm going to take it off the recording right now. And you guys are welcome to answer any questions. Hold on just a second.